What up ladies and gents, boys and squirrels? Today we got 10 epic Bakugan for you. And uh, before the video gets started, let's go ahead and leave a like because that'll let me know that you guys want to see more of this. And if you liked it, then leave a comment and tell me what you liked and what you wanted to change and what you would want me to do next time. So without further ado, here is Hex Viper Helios. He is Pyrus and he has 440 Gs. This guy appears on the show and he is a pretty rad Bakugan. Won't lie, most people try to collect at least one Viper Helios, and I have like four different ones, but this one is, it holds a special place just because of the whole meh. Anyway, we got uh, Von Falco next, and he's an epic Bakugan, because he's a Bakutech Bakugan, so he's got these metal parts that can be swapped out for other metal parts. But uh, I love the fact that he's translucent, for one, and for two, He's one of the few Bakugan that has, like, even though he isn't a Sky Raider or anything, he just has, like, a lot of flair when he pops out. Like, check this out. Boom. Like, tell me that doesn't just have presence. Like, Von Falco did something different. Don't know what it was, but he did. Alrighty. Next, my friends. Oh, we should do it in a different order. Boom, cross Dragonoid and all of its might. So this guy appears in the show, pretty crazy in the show. And if you don't know, he spins. So I spoiled it for you. So you don't even have to watch this one because you already know he's gonna spin. But for everybody that's wondering, looks like that. Yeah, this guy's super cool. Uh, I think it's interesting that I have one where I haven't taken the G-Sticker off yet. So he's like, unknown power. That to me is kind of cool. Next we have a Baku Armor Bakugan. So this guy is uber rare. He is, his name is Iki Tosin. And he has this times two multiplier on his wing. And it multiplies the Gs of the gate card. So whatever it is, it just times two. And he's the strongest Chaos Bakugan I got. So, pretty cool guy right there. I would say he's up there with one of, if not, like, in the top ten of my rarest Bakugan. Next, here's a highly sought-after Bakugan, Mutant Talion. Subterra Mutant Talion. I don't know why so many people want this guy, but I get endless comments on YouTube, on TikTok, on Instagram about this guy, and everybody seems really interested in him. And if you know why, leave it in the comment. It might be because he's Subterra, and Subterra's, like, going extinct. I tried to start a whole, like, bring back Soterra 2020 thing. It, uh, didn't go over so well, but I tried. Alrighty, guys. I have a smudge on my all-perfect white background, and it's bugging the shit out of me. Oh. Of course he was gonna be like that. Alright, there we go. And, uh, I think it's right... There's the G's. It'll focus. Yep. 740. Pretty powerful Subterra Bakugan. Next, we have Cyborg Helios in Chaos. And he's translucent because I have a thing for translucent Bakugan. I like collecting them. Alright. This guy is pretty powerful. And, like I said, with the. Uh, like Von Falco, he just has this like presence to him. Okay, only 460 Gs, but still a pretty cool Bakugan. He's got the manual horn, if I can get it. Number one rule about Bakugan is you must have fingernails. You're just never gonna be able to play right. All right, boom. All right, let's put Ikitosin over here. Cross Dragonoid. Just whatever cover up the smudge <laughs> so here's a highly sought after bakugan and a pretty expensive bakugan at that single-headed darkest hydronoid everybody seems to be after this guy uh you get a lot of comments about it but mostly people just like don't want to buy them off ebay because they're worried they're going to be like broken which this one came broken so i got it for like four dollars and then i fixed it and now it works perfectly and I'll show that off now. 
So if you close the three horns, you flip the tail thing down, you make it click, then you fold the feet. Make sure that these legs are going back. Click in both sides, do the tail, and that's how you don't break a single-headed hydronoid, if you're wondering. A lot of people end up breaking this guy even though he's worth like 300 bucks, so that'd be a sad time. Oh, look, I broke mine. <laughs> Wouldn't that be like ironic as hell? I'm talking about like people breaking them and then I break mine. Yeah, the guy's really awesome. Next, we have Darkest Skytris. And this guy is a Bakugan Sky Raider. Oh, that didn't happen. We're gonna go ahead and do a redo. I don't do bloopers on my channel. I don't take it out. So like, you guys just have to accept it. If you're gonna watch my videos, you're gonna see me fail a couple times. Boom. He just cannonballed into all the other Bakugan. But yeah, he jumps. And if you can see that, he's got 930 Gs. Very strong, darkest Bakugan. At a measly 600 Gs, we got an Alpha Hydronoid. Alpha Hydronoid came in the same pack as Single-Headed Hydronoid. It was the evolutionary pack at Walmart. Got released, I don't know, maybe 2007? A long time ago, I know that. And, oh, sounded like I broke his tail. I very well may have. That's what I get for talking about breaking Bakugan. I'll break my own. All right, not worried about that tail. I'm more worried about his feet. Gotta get those feet out. All right, it looks complete. But like, even when you compare the single-headed one to the alpha one, it's pretty obvious which one's the winner. Like, single-headed hydronoid just has that creepy smile, the red eyes. He just looks menacing. Where Alpha Hydronoid just kind of looks like a basic Bakugan. I will admit Alpha Hydronoid in the show looks way cooler than Alpha Hydronoid in real life. But lastly, we have Blue Pyrus Rise Dragon. I have named him Inferno. Very cool Bakugan overall. As you know, Rise Dragon is up there with one of my favorite Bakugans. Because he's a Baku tech and he has all automatic parts every single part on them pops out as soon as he touches the card so a very cool bakugan and if you're wondering yes i have a few of this guy i've showed it off my channel before these are just the ones i had within my reach but i also painted one black i have a red one uh absolutely love this guy one of the coolest bakugan ever if you ask me and he comes from the Baku Tech show that was uh, in Japan exclusively, never in the US, so a lot of people don't know about him. But uh, I would like to, you know, bring bring some light to him and show him off, give him his limelight that he deserves. But uh, as I roll out the credits, guys, I'd like to ask you if you could go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can see more of this type of content. And I know that you guys want to see uh like all baku tech videos which i will definitely make in the future i just have to locate them all like i have so many <laughs> what what i do not know what just happened but i have so many bakugan it's hard to keep track of all of them like i'm pretty sure i have like almost eh, maybe maybe 20 baku tech but uh some of them are in bad conditions most of them are in good conditions though Alrighty guys, well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here, now that I've broken one of my favorite Bakugan. I don't know what's going on with him, honestly. These things are tricky. Cause like, sometimes they'll close perfectly, other times, they'll be like an ultimate master puzzle. Like, do you guys, if you ever played Skyrim, there'd be like the master chests that you'd have to lockpick and they were like super hard. That's what Rise Dragon is. He's just like the high tier Bakugan, the super hard, uber crazy Bakugan. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on Rise Dragon as we roll the credits. 
Thank you, Bakugan. Thank you, everybody that helped me. And uh, thank you for 200 subscribers. I'm really happy about it, guys. Have a great day.